Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and I'm going to do a presentation using Power BI and social media with Excel 2013. So I was wondering the other day, amongst the plural site authors, how many of those folks are my Facebook friends? Now, as you see from Facebook, I have kind of a lot of friends, 1429. And there are a lot of plural site courses. So I could just manually go and merge the lists, but what I thought I would do is use Power BI to pull this information together and get a quick count. So I'll show you how I did it. The first thing that I did is I installed Power Query, which I believe is still in beta as of this recording. And then I went and looked for uh, how I would get information from the Plural Site website, and I was happy to see that there is the Plural Site catalog is available through an OData feed. So inside of Power Query, copy in that URL that I found on the web, and then I will get three different um, uh, pieces of information here. And I really don't know which one I want, so I'm just going to select them all right now. The categories, the courses, and the modules. And I'm going to click Load. And that loaded to a power pivot data model. That's why you don't see it in the worksheet. And if I pass my mouse over each one of these, I now get a preview. So I can see that this is the categories of the courses. I can view it in the worksheet, of course, if I want to, just by clicking this button. Uh, these are the courses, and these are the modules. So I think I want the courses, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and click Edit Query and see what's in there, because, of course, I want to see who the authors are. So here I can see a list of courses and the descriptions, and I don't really care about the descriptions, so I'm going to remove that. I don't really care about the video length, category, might keep that actually. Video length I'll get rid of. Is tutorial, I don't care about that. I'm just going to get rid of these. And subcategory, I don't really care. And here I have a nested uh, table with the modules. So let me see what information is there. And I can see there I've got some information about the modules in the course and the thing that I'm really looking for, which is the author. And the author name is in kind of a weird format. So I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this column. And then I'm going to parse it. It looks like um, it splits on um, hyphen, so I'm going to delimit it there, and I'm going to split by the hyphen. At the leftmost delimiter, and now I'm going to rename this as first name and last name. I think I want to have the categories because I want to see what categories. I don't really care about the courses, um, so I won't put that in. And now I'm satisfied with this. Let's see if I like all the names. Let me rename this. I'm going to call this full name. And I'm going to actually add an index because that's just really handy to have and very easy to do. I'm going to save this. I'm going to call this Plural Site Authors. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this. So now I'm going to share this and make this available for other people in my group. I have a test user here. I'm just going to put, put in test. And this is going through the Office 365 Power BI portal. So now I'm actually going to go ahead and just close Excel because this query is, is uh, saved. And I say from other sources, there's actually a Facebook import, direct import here. 
So I say that I want for me, you can put a username or object ID, and I want to get my friends. And I say OK. Now I already pre-configured my security information because I did this once before. You do have to um, have your login information and then it's saved in Excel. So here's all my friends and then here's a nested table. You can tell by this. So let's see if I want anything else. Let's put um, my first name because I want first name, gender, last name. I think that's good enough. And let's call this Facebook friends. And I'm going to add that index column again. Okay, and so now, this time I'm going to load to worksheets so you can see what that looks like. And what I want to do is I want to combine this with my other query. So I'm going to need to bring that up. So while this is loading, still it's loading from Facebook, I'm going to go ahead to sheet one here. And I'm going to say uh, Power Query. And this time, rather than just retrieving that, I'm going to uh, just show you the capability of the online search because I think it's cool. And, you know, in case you want to reuse is really the idea. So you have your search scope over here. You have to be signed in to your Office 365 account and you can set, um, let's see, mine is my shared. And then I'm just going to type in um, one word. So I guess I'll type in plural site. And it should come up once I click search. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And then it does a preview of it. And you can see it's got all the information here um, and the data source. And then I can say add to worksheet. And I could edit the query if I wanted to. So now I've got my two queries loading. And so I'm going to need to join them. Now normally, obviously, you join on like an ID or something. But um, just for the quickness of the demo, I'm going to join on uh, last name. I may have some duplicate names in here in case people did courses in two categories. So I'm going to need to look for duplicates. So I can go ahead and edit the query and look for those duplicates. So I can do that by going here and I can say remove duplicates. Okay, and I realize I've lost some of the categories, but that's what I need for my scenario. So I can say apply and close. All right, so now I'm ready to join these. I've got 272 Pluralsight authors and I have 1,380 Facebook friends. So in my next step, I'm gonna to need to join these to find out how many common friends I have. So to do that, I'm gonna take my workbook pages and I'm gonna to add to the data model, which will open up Power Pivot. So there's my Pluralsight authors. So then I need to go back to my Facebook friends, I need to add those. And then we can use our pivot table. So we have 272 plural site authors. You can see all their last names. And we have 1,380 Facebook friends. So the answer to my question is 85 of my 1,380 Facebook friends are plural site authors. So 85 out of 272, of course this is Excel. Thirty-one percent of the uh, thirty-one percent of the plural site authors are my Facebook friends. So that's it. Short and sweet, easy to do. I got my answer to how many of my Facebook friends were in a certain set by using Power Query, Power Pivot, and I didn't really need to use Power View or Power Map because it was just a simple number. So this is Lynn Langett. Have fun with Power BI.